Hey guys, so in this video I want to discuss the design of the paramotor. So I want to use this video to talk a bit about each uh, of the versions I had, uh, why I made it and why I decided to, um, to go for something else. So let's take a look at the old designs um, and work our way to the most recent one. Um, so let's take a look at the first one. So in this first design I just wanted to try something uh, simple and it is based on pretty much any other uh, paramotor available. So just a couple of simple cut arms that uh, were I believe supposed to be made from plastic from IKEA cutting boards and just a piece of uh, carbon fiber strip that forms the ring itself to protect the the bridles of the glider from the propeller and to protect my fingers of course. This design is from 2015 so uh, two years uh, almost three years passed before I uh, picked it up again and continued to build and that's also uh, when I decided to uh, make these videos about it. So in this picture this render you can see um, a lot of things that are really similar to the design the way I have it right now. There is um, the familiar uh, shape of the, the cage itself, um, the shape of the, uh, the arms that connect the ring to the um, motor mount are also really similar to the, one, to the ones that I actually uh, decided to make and uh, have in the, in the build itself right now. Only thing uh, missing in this picture uh, is well, the frame and the motor mount. That's also the thing that I uh, had most trouble with the design uh, up to today. Uh, it's really something that I can't decide which way I want to go. And this is also the first picture that I, uh, I shared on the, on the build vlogs, build logs, not vlogs, uh, on uh, the forums. And there are a few iterations after that from the same basic construction. Um, a large 3D printed frame with a, a couple of mounting points for each of the components. So after that I had the idea to use again 3D printed parts but make it modular. So there's a basic uh, mainframe and you can uh, connect other parts, for example, for the radio equipment, for the batteries, um, for the hang points, for the wing, uh, to this mainframe. And I actually made this uh, particular part. If I remember it correctly, I should have it around here somewhere. Um, can't find it, so I will look for it uh, later and uh, show it then. Well, because uh, as I said, I already made it, so uh, I was quite confident with the design. But I still decided to change it. And after that I had a couple of ideas. Um, for example, a steel tube frame that uh, would be welded together. A carbon fiber sheet frame, really similar to RC helicopters. And all variations and combinations of the, of the above. So I managed to find the part. Um, I got it right here. Yeah, as I said, I was confident about the design. I really liked it. I still like it. But I also think that it is um, not ideal for the, the purpose that we well designed uh, the, the whole paramotor for. And that is for uh, long flights, uh, stable flights with camera equipment. That's, that's the ultimate goal. So having the hang points this low um, it should, it mounts on the, on the ring like this, uh, on the propeller cage, and yeah, it's just, it's just too low. So that's why I uh, decided to skip this. Oh, I haven't shown this uh, before. It's still how I left it, pretty much. Had some, uh, did some sanding to it, but uh, I was still pushing it back and making up excuses not to, to finish the sanding because it's quite quite a lot of work. Um, so I have two more uh, designs 
uh, of the frame that I want to show you before I'm going to show you the, 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 the last version that I updated today. So I talked about the different materials a couple of minutes ago, and this is one of the, uh, the, the designs that I made for it, and that is a, a steel tube frame. I have some six millimeter stainless tubes here, and I thought, well, I have a TIG welder, so why not weld those together and make a nice frame out of it? I still think it could be a really cool um, experiment that the design itself is unnecessarily complex. And I just want it to fly. Um, that's, that's my main goal. So that's also the reason why I put this idea to the side. Pretty much at the same time, I was also looking at ways how I could um, mount the wheels to the paramotor. Um, with a camera mounted to it, it's not an option to do belly landings. Uh, so I need some kind of a uh, landing gear. And I was uh, playing with the idea to make it uh, retractable. And in these pictures, you can see it, see the design that I made and uh, also the way how it should uh, retract. It should fold up really nicely to the sides, upper sides of the, uh, of the paramotor, but of course being uh, retractables and having them retract to such a specific position also makes it uh, somewhat complex. And as you can see, um, the folding mechanism itself exists out of uh, at least four parts and, well, as I just said, I want to make it, the design simpler, not more complex. So I'm going to skip uh, this way of uh, retractable landing gear. It's also not going to be a fixed landing gear, but somewhere in between. So this is the design I have right now. It looks a bit weird with uh, the, the really boxy canopy, but this is just a placeholder to get a rough idea about how, I, uh, how it's going to look. Because today I uh, had the idea, uh, I was uh, moving some uh, RC helicopters, and I thought, well, why would I not use a canopy from a uh, RC helicopter uh, to cover up uh, the, the power motor itself? So if I can uh, cheat and use a canopy from a uh, RC helicopter, pretty much fix all my, uh, my challenges I have for that. And you can see the, the hang points uh, should go right uh, through the canopy on the top and the bottom should allow for easy uh, insertion of the, the batteries. So the idea for the landing gear now is to have sort of wings and these uh, allow the wheel to fold up. An uh, issue I had with the design I made previously is that there is not that much room inside of the paramotor for a really complex and uh, large retractable assembly. Uh, one thing to note here, I didn't draw them, but uh, I want to use two carbon fiber uh, plates that I'm going to cut on the uh, milling machine uh, that are going to form the, the main portion of the build. So really similar to a model helicopter because I think it's a really simple and nice design and well, obviously it is because otherwise it wouldn't be used in all these uh, model helicopters uh, for so many years. So that's pretty much it about this design. I hope you guys like the design. It's a bit of a mess this video. Um, I'm hoping I made some uh, things clear and if I didn't also please let me know so I can learn from it. And um, well, looking forward to your replies, uh, to your comments, and uh, see you guys in the next video.